Hello, and welcome to episode 13 of my Colony Survival Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making a grindstone and oven, and also a cup copper miner and a woodcutter. And I've not decided whether to do a tent for colonists yet. Um, but let's start with the um, thread production. Um, my guards are still taken care of easily of the zombies. One, one at the front there and one at the other side. So now it's time to get a load more food because I, I feel a lot more comfortable having a lot more food. Okay, so we've got, I've let my wheat build up a little bit. So I've now got 225 plus they're now going to harvest these two fields. So now's a good time to get uh, an oven going and a grindstone to turn it into flour and then bread. So what I'm going to need for that though is another chest. So more copper nails. And that's why I want to do a copper, um, a copper miner. And because I'm going to need all of them lots and lots of nails so let's do a crate oops what am I doing let's put the crate on my hot bar there and the crate can go I'll start doing them this side I think so there okay and now I need to make a grindstone and an oven an oven needs copper parts for ah oh, have I got enough copper or do I need to go mine some so let's see copper parts needs four of them so if I do some some of them I need some more then so let's throw the dirt in there let's go get another lump of copper You can see I had to go quite deep for the copper. Uh, let's grab this one. And let's grab one more. Just in case I need it. Which I probably will. Right, okay, so now we should be able to do some more copper parts and then an oven. There we go, so we got an oven. Right, so let's place the grindstone down there. And the oven can go there. Right, I'm going to need two more beds. Oh, so I am going to need more copper nails. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need lots more copper. Well, another a few more copper. I'll be so glad when I can just do a copper miner. Uh, let's grab that one. Grab that one. And that one. Oh, let's grab that as well. Is that another one? Yeah. And I'll just fill that in with stone. I might as well grab some tin. Right, okay, that should be enough. I must do these stairs too wide down actually. Give myself a bit more room. Right, okay, so I need two beds. So I'm going to need lots more nails. And some planks. There we go. Now we can do. Oop, there we go, yep, two beds. Won't need the tin yet. Let's place the beds down. For now I'll just keep them all going this way. And 
Let's now get two colonists. There we go. They should now start making food. Next I'm going to do a copper miner. As you can see, you're going to need a ton of copper. So let's do another bed. If I can. So I need eight more nails. There we go. And now let's go do the miner. Be so nice though, I won't have to keep walking up and down all the time. Okay, oh, I'm going to need another chest. And I need to put his bed down here, so there's a mistake straight away. Let's quickly go rip up that bed. Remember, your colonists will go to the nearest bed. So, I need to put a bed down there with the miner. So let's rip that up, and then go down. Okay, so I could do bed over here, and let's put the minor spot here, and let's face him this way, and let's now do a crate, can I do a crate, or do I need copper nails? And the crate I will put just there. In fact, I'll pull it. Whoops, what am I doing? I need to check my by accident. I'll put the crate here in between both these nodes. There we go. Right, let's now get a miner. There we go. He should now come down and mine me an infinite amount of copper from that tile there. And then once I've got the copper, then I can start thinking about doing a woods, woodsman next, getting me logs. There's our miner. Oh, it's night time, typical. Okay, well let's see with eight colonists what the zombie situation now looks like. If my guards are still holding up. You can see that slinger over there is killing the zombies that walk past him, which is good. Notes I did loads of sling stones because I kept forgetting about the sling bullets. I kept forgetting to make them and I nearly ran out and that would have meant my base got overrun so I quickly made a load. So now I'm keeping it at roughly 300 until I can get a, um, the weapon smith I think it is I need in order to make them automatically. Ah yes, for the bread production I'm now going to need um, one of these splitting stumps so that's what the next colonist will be um, he will turn logs the logs I've got into kindling which is the firewood which is this which is the fuel for the oven so that's what my next colonist will need to be and then a wood well a woodcutter and then a, someone to do the um, fuel See these are nice and quick at reloading, so they are good. But when they start to get overwhelmed like this, some are going to get by. So let's see if my two slingers deal with them. There's one that's got by. Oh, 
that's you can see I might need another guard because I don't know if this guard is going to be able to get three of them so close together in time we'll see if not I'll get down and do a bit of punching and show you that but let's see if these get by the first one's gone No, they didn't make it. Good. But you can see it's getting close now. Eight colonists, two guards, just about still able to handle them. But when we get to ten colonists, then we will need definitely another guard. And I'm thinking to place that guard maybe here in the middle. We can go that way, shoot that way and that way. Plus get the ones that roam around the edge here. Right, it's nearly daylight. Now my wood cutter, the wood farms you can now do 10 by 10. So I think I'll do them up here in the higher up. So What I'll do is that and start to build this up. Yeah, here's probably high enough. That clears the Oh no, it doesn't clear the guards though. So I will need to do it higher. Will this be high enough? No, I'll go one more to be on the safe side. Though I don't know if that's now too high for me to reach. Let's see. That's okay. So I'm going to put my wood cutter up there. Let's grab some more stone. That's something else I'm going to need a miner for stone. Right, that's all bed space. This I need to do along here. There we go. Now that guard I wanted, I suppose I'll have to put the guard here in the middle. Now I need to work out how I can get this across. So this is going to be difficult. Uh, 
that I'll start working in dirt because I'm going to need to do a 10 by 10 tree farm. I could do this. No, 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 let's keep it like that. So, one, two, three, four, five so far. Grab a load more dirt. Let's see, how many have I done so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, oops. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, I've been using logs. What a plonker. So I'm going to need to dig these up. These are all logs, which is no good. look so similar. That not a problem, it doesn't take long to fix your mistakes. Right, now I can do stone around the edge of this. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more. Right, there we go. Let's put stone around that.
take damage if I jump from that height. So let's go down and put the stone along there. Like so. to get to that corner but let's see. Right, so I'm gonna put a torch down now. Getting a bit dark again. here because now we're getting plenty of copper so it's not a problem remember if you right click you'll grab half of what's in your stockpile and so let's do a load of nails and do a bed and let's see he's got a bronze axe for now so and I need a crate So let's put the bed down. Let's put a crate down. Are there any crates underneath this? That's what I want to be careful of. Yeah, there is. So I'll put the crate here. And when it gets daylight, then I'll get myself a woodcutter. Let's check that my guards are holding up. Let's put another torch down over here. In fact, I could do that all the way across. There we go. Let's do this too wide. The daylight is coming. When I've done the woodcutter and the fuel, for uh, what do we call this new one? Do the, uh, oh he's the woodcutter. So the woodcutter for the fuel and of course the person to cut the trees down. So we need a tree farm. Right, they're up, good. Let's get ourselves the tree farm. So let's do that first. So Forester, that's what I'm talking about. And I'll do it this way so I don't fall off the edge. Look a complete idiot like I normally do. There we go. Nice 10 by 10 uh, tree farm. Get a colonist. And we've now got ourselves a woodcutter. But we're not finished because we now need to turn them logs that he's going to cut from the trees into fuel for the oven. So there we are. He's got his bed up there so he won't have to travel far. And he's got a crate to drop the trees into. There he goes. Off he goes planting. That will be plenty of wood. One forester for 50 colonists, or 30 colonists, I don't know. We'll, I know it's up until at least 30 colonists. One tree farm is sufficient. Okay, right, next we need to do... The thing is, this is going to take us to 10 colonists, so I'm going to do another guard. 
and I wanted to do that guard over here so let's put him here in the center oops and of course I'm doing the wrong structure so a guard another slinger and I'll face him I don't guess it matters because they turn all the way around put him there in the center you'll get them coming that way that way and also you'll be able to reach the ones going around the wall so the next colonist will need to be a guard oh I need a bed first so let's go do a bed let's pull it on the end And let's now employ him. There we go. Oh, right. Okay, it's telling me I need to do a sling. Of course I do. So I need leaves. Uh, grab a sling. There we go. He'll snap that up. There we go. We've got our guards. So rem remember that when you're doing the guards, you need the slings for them. So we're at 10 colonists. Now we should notice that nasty new zombie up here. He's got a different colour top on to the other zombies, as you're going to see. Okay, right, so next though, I now need to do one of these splitting stumps. So I need logs and the writing in red is so... De oh yes, bronze axe. So I've got uh, three bronze axes, that's alright. So I need to bronze axe and some logs. And there we go, got a split and stump. So let's now put that down. There. And now I'm going to need one more colonist. So another bed. Oh, I need planks. And copper nails. There we go, it's another bed. Put that here. And now recruit another colonist. Right, there we go. So I'm eating 55 food a day, but I'm hoping um, that the bread production that I've got is enough for now. Okay, I'm going to do two more fields. You can see I've made room for them over there. Eventually I want to do six fields. Six fields will easily take me up to about 30 colonists. Um, no, 40 colonists, or maybe even 50. We'll see when we get there. But for now, we've got someone who's going to make keep making uh, the fuel for the oven. Otherwise, the oven won't be baking any more bread. Let's right-click on this, and you'll see here you can set how much firewood. So, 20. I'm going to top that up to... 100 no 200 200 firewood because it's so important for your food planks I'll just keep it let's put that up a bit higher there you go maybe you just right click on any of your workbenches and it brings up this window and then you can set the amount so uh, definitely though you need more more of this as you build up your ovens so now when we look in the stockpile there we go, we're starting. <coughs> You'd notice we'd run out of firewood, so I've done that just in time. And now we will keep keep us topped up. Oh, there's the timer. It'll keep us topped up to 200 basic fuel. Okay, I know the timer's gone, but I want to show you the, if I can, the new zombie that's going to appear when it gets the day, night time. Go check my tree farm. 
really I ought to build a wall around this to save me walking off the edge. Which is what I would do. There. Yep, tree farm is getting busy. So I'm getting nine trees. And that is plenty. You'll see, I'll always have plenty of wood in here. Plenty of logs. Oh, the sun is going down, so we are now going to see what zombies come to pay, pay visit to us. There's my new guard. Let's top up my ammo. And here come the zombies. So I want to see if I can show you the new zombie that's going to be one that's going to be twice as strong as the others. Like I said, I think his top is a different colour. But that might have just been the way the light was reflecting. We'll know the stronger zombie because when this slinger hits it, Instead of doing half damage, it will do a quarter damage. So that's a normal zombie. Oh, is that the new one over there? Uh, I think it's just a light. We have a guard over there is doing his stuff. seen the tougher one yet though. Like I say they don't spawn in droves, they're, they're sort of like a rare one that will pop up in amongst them. I'm sure we're going to see one. So this is good anyway because it shows you that you do have a little while before them stronger zombies start appearing. I don't know if they're faster as well, the stronger ones. Oh well, I better end the episode here. Um, I guess we'll get to see the stronger zombies eventually. But in the last game I played, they started appearing when I had 10 colonists. But it don't look like in this game that's the case. Because they're only the normal weak ones. Right, well I'll end this episode here. We got our food up and running, we got a tree farm now and we got fuel being made for the ovens so it is looking really good uh, food is I know it's looking low but my bread production will keep going now because of the firewood and I'm going to do a couple more wheat fields just to strengthen the amount of wheat 
because it's all being turned into flour at the moment. But I'll end this episode here because it doesn't look like we're going to see the stronger zombie yet. But we will eventually. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.